Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 6 of our API testing with REST Assured and Cucumber course. And this day we are talking about working with POST in REST Assured. Alright, so let's get started. Working with POST. So there are different way of POST operation that we can perform during REST call and some of them are like path parameter, body parameters and in conjunction with both of the above, something like path and body parameter. So POST with body parameter. So as you can see, we have seen this slide in part 4 and we discussed that we will be discussing about the body parameter in much greater detail in this video though. So as you can see for the body object for the post content, I have created a hash map with a string of string and I have passed the ID, title and author in the post content and these are the values here. And this is something that I have passed within the body of the post content. And then I'm trying to verify if the body has an author of exit automation in that. And since it is a post, it is going to be creating a new post altogether. And it is going to be something which is not like a get operation because it's a post. It is going to be creating a new post within our fake JSON server. And then we need to verify if that particular post has already been created within the JSON server, something like this. Right? So this is how you can perform a post with the body parameter. But since this is a given with when and then formation, which is like a BDD style, for the non-BDD style, I'm going to be using our libraries that we have used so far, something like this for the body and path parameter. So as you can see, we already have the arrange operation and we have to set the body where the body is going to be something like this pretty much for the profile content that like name as Sam and we're going to be setting the body and then for the act I will be calling the URL something like this and for the assert I will be doing this particular name is Sam something like that. So you can see that this is the arrange act and assert operation and within the arrange we already have something called a set body where I'm also going to set the body of the content that I need to be passing in for the request object so that I can act and assert on it. So this is how we can perform a post operation with the body and path parameter. So again, these are something very, very simple. They don't really confuse each other, but just that as you can see the coding practices compared to the BDD style is starting to feel like the non BDD style is much simpler and much straightforward than the BDD style fashion itself because even though this is kind of readable this particular code is much reusable and the method that we have extended in our previous videos are gonna leverage the power of post in much easier fashion. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm gonna flip to IntelliJ IDE. Alright so this is the same project that we have been using so long in our previous videos of this course and since we are going to be working with the post and we have never performed the post operation ever in our course so far, I'm going to quickly show you how we can deal with the post operation with a BDD styled REST Assured library. And then we'll be talking how we can segregate that into a non BDD style REST Assured extension that we have written so far. So I'm going to create a very simple method here where you can see that we can perform a post operation within our web server. And once again, for the post operation within our web server, I'm going to quickly show you how we can pass the post operation using the postman that we have. So I'm just going to do something like post and this is the post that I'm talking about. And for the post operation, all we have to do is we need to set a body and I'm going to be setting the body as raw and the application type is actually JSON because as you can see within our get operation. So if I do that, you can have a clear idea of how it looks like. And if I hit a send, you can see this is the body that I'm talking about. So this is exactly the same body that we need to pass. Just that we will select, we will set a value as four or something like that. And I'm going to be setting a value here. I guess let's make this a different value and the author, let's say instead of Karthik, I'm going to change to exit automation or something like that. So this is the post and you can see if I do a get of maybe four, 
you can see there is no such value but now if I do a post for the first time you can see that it is going to be setting a value for us so the posts is going to be sent here and you can see there is a response coming back from our JSON server and you can see this is our JSON server it is returning as the post for the first time and now if I do a get of 4 it was empty before and now if I send you can see that it is returning as a value as rest assured which means a new post has been created within our existing library or within our existing database in our rest assured right and now this is exactly the same operation that we'll be doing as a code instead of manually what we did here right so we have to pass the id title and author within our code so that we can perform the operation so i'm going to quickly create a method here and let's call this as perform post with body parameter and within that i'm going to create a hash map and this is nothing but a post content and within this hash map i'm going to be setting all the values that we saw just before something like this but just that i'm going to change the id from seven to maybe five and let's change the cores at robotium and let the author be exit automation right so this is the post operation and then for the given i'm going to be using the same given when then format so i'm just going to paste it over here that i have already written because i'm really not going to be typing the same things again and again because that's going to be based off our time and you can see that the code is pretty straightforward just that for the first time we are seeing something called as a body method and i'm passing in the post content over here that's it so this is how we can perform a post operation so in order to call this particular method i'm just going to write a very very super simple scenario so verify post operation operation for this particular post so i'm just going to delete the other step as well because it's not making any sense as of now so let this be in here all we are trying to do is to make use of our method that we have written so i'm just going to call that i'm just going to make this guy as static as well there you go and now if i try to execute this particular code and let's also watch the web server here so you can see that it is going to be creating oops seems like there is a problem so let's see what's really happening so it says that it cannot serialize the object because no json server found in the class path please put either the jackson data bind or json in the class path well in order to resolve this problem we have to add an what is called as any palm.xml file we have to add a library and the library is nothing but a jackson data bind artifact so this jackson data bind artifact is going to be something that you can get from the maven so if i search for maven uh, it's nothing but jackson data bind because it is very clearly showing in our error so if i go over here 2.95 or 2 by 97 you can use any one of the uh, dependency id you can just copy that guy and then you can paste it in the pond.xml file as you can see it is currently downloading in my machine and it's trying to add a reference in our external jar file here there you go it's done and now if i try to execute this code hopefully this time the code is going to pass and it is not going to complain as an error so you need to have a json serializer because if you don't really have a JSON serializer, it is going to be throwing the error for you. So once again, since we have added a palm.xml file, so I probably have to go back and change the settings as well as the uh, JDK uh, version. So we change the JDK version, the project structure would have changed as well. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to be executing it. And you can see this time the test card passed as well. So this is how you can run 
a post operation with a body parameter something like this. So the next operation that we're going to do is the post operation with body parameter as well as with the path parameter. But before doing that, let's quickly see how we can make use of that. So within our application here, I'm going to be calling something like, so I already have a stored option here. So you can see that we have a localhost colon 3000 slash post slash one slash profile. Uh, for this profile, I'm going to be adding a comment here. Something like name is equal to Karthik or name is equal to Sam or something like that. And if I hit send, you can see it is going to be returning me for the post ID one. It is going to be setting a profile name as Sam. Similarly, if I want to set for the profile, the post ID two with a name as Jacob, I can also do that. If I hit send, you can see for the post ID of two, we have a name as Jacob. And now we can do a get of the profile. And if I hit send, you can see that we have this particular Jacob as it is equal to two in here, right? So this is kind of a mock thing, but yes, this is how you can send a body as well as the path parameter. So in order to do both of them together, instead of writing the given when then fashion, I'm going to be creating what is called as a reusable method within our rest assured extension. So I'm just going to be jumping over here within our rest assured extension. And then I'm going to be creating a very, very super simple method. So since it is going to be also returning as the response object, I'm going to be creating a response option of response. And let's call this as post ops with body and path parameter. So it's kind of very, very bigger. So I need to something like this. And then as you can see here, we have the URL, the path parameter, and we have the map, which is nothing but the body, right? So we have everything in here. And once we have everything, we know that what we have to do. So we have to put a try catch block or maybe just leave it. The IntelliJ will ask us to do that. So we can do a path parameter. So I'm just going to pass the path param and then I'm going to be passing body and the body is something but the body object that we're going to be passing in. Finally, we need to return the request dot post of new URI of the URL. It's pretty much like how we did for the get except that it is a post in here. So this is exactly like how we did for the uh, get operation before, right? For the path parameter, just that we have additionally a post here and we have set the body as well. That's it. Very, very super simple. Let me also return null because if nothing is going to be there, then it's going to be returning as null. Super simple. So this is how you can perform a post operation with a body parameter. So the next thing that we need to do is to start creating the scenarios for using this particular post ops with body and path parameter, which we'll be doing in our next video. Thank you.